a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. We've got Fennec Shand from the Book of Boba Fett. This figure looks absolutely awesome. Um, I'm really, really pumped to have this one, to be honest. Uh, this one come to me from Inbox Toys um, over in Western Australia. You know, they do a great job always of uh, packing and, and wrapping these figures up so they come in absolutely pristine condition. Of course, it's just a bonus for me because... Uh, you know, I get to show off a really nice looking card and uh, I get to open it as well and have some fun with it. So it is VC221. And we have other figures in the wave. I'm just going to zoom up so I've got the light because it's actually quite dark. Um, so yeah, Bib Fortuna, Ahsoka, Bo Katan, uh, Quill have all, have, have all had reviews on my channel. Yoda and the Clone Trooper Fire First. Um, they're two figures I'm probably not going to pick up at this stage. And Death Watch Mandalorian is one I do have on pre order, so looking forward to that. I do have the six inch version, um, which will be getting reviewed next, so stay tuned for that one um, if you want to check out the uh, six inch Death Watch Mando. But yeah, this one looks good. Really nice card art. Love the Book of Boba Fett logo at the top, the bright, striking red. Looks good. Fennec Shand, great picture of her there. And uh, yeah, pretty nice looking figure. Um, the way the head's sort of, the way the figure's been squashed in there makes her head sort of looking down, but um, shouldn't be any problems once we get that out. So let's crack it open and have a look at the figure. All right, here is Fennec Shand. She's looking absolutely fantastic. Don't yet have the six inch Black Series version to compare to, so we're going with a, just a nice straight review of this figure. Some soft goods on it. Looks really, really good. Uh, nice sculpt, nice looking paint work. Really nice looking sort of photo reel paint apps on this one, which we'll quickly zoom up on. So that's, yeah, really nicely done. If it wants to focus a little bit, there we go. Like for three and three quarter, that's absolutely bang on really really nice and she's just such a cool character such a badass gotta love Fennec and uh you know the passion behind the app from the actor Ming Na Wen is you know evident and uh great herald for the franchise and uh yeah she's she's definitely taken the character on and uh made it her own and you know she's passionate about it like like we are so that's that's awesome so accessory wise does come with this sort of bigger sort of sniper rifle with the uh, nice sort of strapping over it so this is the uh, sort of sniper one that she uses in Mandalorian so I imagine that will slot over the head like so and uh, yeah just sort of hang it over the shoulder so that that look actually fits really nicely hangs down there well looks good so it comes with this smaller one, which is even which is still really cool. She also comes with the flagon that she's uh, drinking out of at the end. Not sure how well she's going to hold it. Whether there's just a way to maybe have her finger sort of hook through the the little handle there, but uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot. And of course her helmet, which on this occasion is a swap out head. And this has been something I personally have been asking for for, for a long time in the vintage collection. Um, and Black Series, to be honest. I don't know whether they're going to get there with Black Series, but um, swap out heads. Um, you know, to have the helmet fitting on top of this, it would be just way too oversized. And it just doesn't work. Um action figure so we'll do a quick swap nice and easy and there you have Fennec which is just so cool and I'm just noticing another little feature here is you can actually pull her ponytail out and pop that in there so that when you swap them over, you still have the ponytail. That is so freaking cool. I'm actually really, really 
thrilled that Hasbro's done that. I think that's a really, really nice feature. So yeah, big kudos to Hasbro for that little little feature. That's that's brilliant. I just add so much to to the figure. That's that's really really nice. I'd I, that's brilliant. <laughs> I can't say say highly enough. Like that's a just a really cool little feature to be able to do that with such a small scaled action figure. Just remarkable. Now it's taking a little bit to get back in there. There we go. It does slot in there very nicely once you get the right angle. Um, but yeah, that is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, Hasbro. That is just so good. Now, let's see. Yeah, I have to play around with this a little bit. <laughs> There's got to be a way to make her hold that a little bit better than just uh, hanging it off the finger, maybe in the thumb. I don't know. I'll, I'll play around with this one I've got a little bit more. Um, you know, it's a little bit awkward from behind the camera here. But uh, we'll get her holding this. Small little rifle here, because that looks really nice. I like that one. It looks good. And it is a really sort of soft, soft plastic on that gun, so it's a, it's a little bit fiddly here. But yeah, again, I am behind a camera and it's a little bit awkward, so we're just going to go with that. She's holding it. She looks awesome. Yeah, just the outfit throughout the whole figure looks great. Love the sort of orange flashes over her armor and her outfit. Soft goods down the sides here, that's really cool. Another sort of bit of fabric with some sort of seam lines on it. You can just sort of see the patterning on the on the black there. Which is really nicely done. It sort of matches that sort of pattern on the front. So just allowing for that movement, which is great. So all, the, all, the, all the super articulation that you could want from a three and three quarter inch figure. And more probably. <laughs> it's just really well done. I'm a big fan of this figure already I actually want to take that bigger rifle off just looks a little bit nicer without it so yeah big kudos to Hasbro for this one this is uh it's definitely going to take a take a top 10 spot this one I think at the end of the year for the vintage collection great articulation great posability great paint great accessories it's got the works, which is absolutely fantastic. Fennec and awesome. <laughs> Fennec Shan, ladies and gentlemen, from the vintage collection. What a nice figure, what an absolutely fantastic piece. Um, yeah, I love this figure. Well done. So again, at the time of recording this, uh, Inbox Toys still have a couple of these in stock, I believe. A um, little bit of extra plastic on the back of that foot there that I'm just sort of picking at. Um, I'll get that with some tweezers and just tidy that up a little bit. It happens. A little bit of extra plastic in the mold. But not a big deal. So yeah, thank you very much, guys. I'd love to hear what you think of this brilliant figure. Really, really nice. Please send out in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll be back with some more reviews very soon. So until then, may the force be with you always.